Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another one here on the channel. In this week's video, we're gonna be talking about how to switch the rotation direction of your brushless motor by simply swapping two of the three wires that go from the electronic speed control to the brushless motor. Now, one of the biggest reasons I personally have to do this is I'm in the field, I ended up making a change or swap or repair on, let's say, a radio-controlled airplane, where I put it back together and then I realize that the motor is spinning in the wrong direction. I'm out there in the middle of the field, I don't have access to any software to program and I still want to fly the plane. How I accomplish this is by simply swapping two of those three wires. Now you may not have access to be able to go and program the speed control and this might be one of the biggest reasons you want to do that. This is your very first run of a radio control vehicle and you can do that as long as your motor is a sensorless motor. We'll talk a little bit more about what happens if your motor is not a sensorless motor. Let's start us off by showing you a quick demonstration as to what happens when we swap the leads of the motor. So here is the dyno that we're going to use to show the direction of the motor. I'm going to have this brushless motor connected to this speed control powered by a two cell lithium polymer battery pack. This is a very low powered setup. You're probably going to see around 100 watts or less with this setup. I'm going to go and control the speed with this uh, servo tester and from there we'll be able to see the direction of the motor based off of the thrust that we're actually getting from our propeller. Let's go ahead and fire up this unit in the current orientation and then switch the direction of our motor by using one of those two of those three leads on our speed control. Let's plug it in and fire it up. So there I have it plugged in and it's arming and now we simply just go and Rotate the throttle up. All right, so now I'm gonna go unplug our battery and do this all over again by swapping those two leads. So here are the two leads that I'm going to swap. I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to take this off here. So I'm going to go to reverse it. Here is the reverse connection. And then the second lead that will reverse the connection is here. I'm going to actually route it out the top. It's a little bit easier here. And there we go. So now we have that set up. So now I'm going to go and plug this pack back in so we can power it back up again. And then we'll get our initiation sequence and then we can go and rotate that motor firing it up yet again so the rotation of the motor we should see that now So we can already tell that the reverse direction is there because the motor is wanting to push air now in the completely opposite direction and it sounds quite different. So that's how you go and reverse the direction of a brushless motor where it is sensorless. Now I'm gonna show you what happens if you have a censored motor. All right guys, so this is a censored brushless speed control and what you can notice here is we have the connector ports for our brushless motor located right here on the top of this speed control. Now the biggest thing that we notice here is on the front it is marked A, B, C. And this is very critical because what this allows us to do is to correctly position the motor leads in sync with these specific A, B, C plugs. If you wanna operate this censored brushless speed control and motor package in a censored mode, you have to make certain that the orientation is correctly suited. If you happen to get the orientation incorrect, you're not going to be able to operate the motor as you would expect. Now, there is one way to get this system to work, and that is if you don't want to go and use the censored port for your brushless motor, you can operate your system provided that the speed control will allow this in a sensorless mode. And then the same thing would apply where you can go and swap the leads if the orientation is wrong where you get the wrong motor direction. That's all folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Like the video if you do. Don't forget to hit that sub button so that I can see you in that next video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.